Hello friends, I hope you are well. They've tried to hack my server on Ubuntu, uh, but they failed miserably. And I will show you how I handled those uh, hacking attempts thanks to fail to ban, fail to ban, which is completely free and that you surely should use for your server. If you have your own uh, virtual private server, your own VPS like me on uh, Hostinger, I will show you how to install it how to uh, use it, how to configure it, and how to check that uh, nobody is trying uh, to hack your server. First thing first, you should check this log. Before installing everything, just to check what is the activity in terms of connection. Is there anybody in the world except you who is uh, trying to access your server using SSH or FTP or mail or whatever intrusion you should check first. Alors, the, the file to check is hot log. So it's, lo it's located here. Uh, CD slash var log. Okay. So here you have all the log of your system and there is one called hot log. Okay, this one. And this one, if you. So I will just open it. Ah, sorry. I open it again. Okay, so here you can see that you have all the connection attempts. Okay, so for example, here you have an invalid user. So if you have this kind of stuff, invalid user who is trying to access and to log into your uh, Ubuntu server through SSH, you can, uh, you can check that there are actually uh, people who try to access your, uh, your, uh, your server. And if they succeed, it's bad for you. So you see there are lots of failed passwords. If you see a lot of failed passwords uh, like this one, failed password for root and it's not coming from you, man, someone is trying to access your server. So I received a huge number of attempts of connection in the past uh, few days. Uh, let me show you. So you can use this, this command, <coughs> <coughs> for example. So I grab this file and I search for failed or I could search for failed password. And you can see how many attempts I have. And I have the IP address of all the users that try. You look at this one. Martin, Toro, Miku, Raquel, Jenkins. And they try from different IP address. So it's really a hacking attack attempt, a massive one on my server. I have a couple of business running on this server, a couple of websites. So if, if they manage to access through SSH to find the password, then I will have uh, a lot of problems. So you can, if so, first you check this log, a u t i h dot log. Okay. Once you have this, all this, uh, all this period, you have the IP address. So you can remove one by one those IP address. But this will be a lot of. This will take a lot of time. So for example, you just have to do, if you want to prevent uh, an IP address to connect, then you just type this one. IP table minus a input uh, and you type drop and here you put the, the the IP address. So for example, if this IP address you want to remove it, for example, or for example this one, okay, then you just copy paste. You just make that. Okay, you do that. You do that. That's if you want to do it manually. But if you get a massive attack then you cannot do that uh, manually. You need something to do that. And this is fail to ban. So here I just do it for you um, so that you can see. So, and when I do that, then automatically this has been added to the, uh, to the IP that cannot connect anymore to. So now I'm going to check and you can see that has been, it has been added. Okay, here you have all the IP address that have been dropped and the one that I've just added should be somewhere in the dropping list. Okay? Okay, so now if you want a system, if you want a process to do that for you, actually you should install fail to ban this one. 
So to install fail to ban, you just do apt install fail to ban. So I just clear that. Okay, apt apt in small letter install. Fail. For me, it's already installed. So you see, already installed, already the newest version. Then once it's installed, uh, you can check that it's are it's actually you should you have to enable it. So you do system ctl fail to ban enable system ctl enable fail to ban okay synchronizing state for, for me it's already enabling then you have to start it so you do system ctl start normally i think it's already started when you download it for the first time so for me it's already it's already started so okay nothing and then you check the status and be and the status is very important you should have active running and you should have no error so for me it's already running okay okay that's running and so what is it doing so in order to understand what it's doing actually it's doing exactly the same thing I'm done, uh, i've done manually but in a much 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 better way so the configuration is located here so this one is a configuration okay so you just go to this one this directory okay Okay, then you create, you just have to create it, okay? Jail.local, okay? And after you can open it, nano jail.local. This will, this is your configuration, okay? You have to, uh, to create it, ah, sorry, sorry, before. <laughs> I was too fast. Before, you have to copy, actually, jail.conf. So you do cp jail.conf into jail.local, okay? You do that, you copy it, and then you will edit it. Jail, so nano, jail.local, okay. And then, uh, basically, you just have to check that the SSH is enabled, and you have to change, alors for me, I changed those three parameters. So the band time is, how is it working, actually? It's in case of uh, failed attempt, so people who try to access your, uh, your server but make a, uh, input a wrong password, then this is a failed attempt. So the, the, the fail to ban will count how many attempts are failed coming from a specific IP address. So for example here, max retry is 5. It means if there, if there are more than five, five failed attempts, then the IP will be banned for a certain period of time. So it will be banned for 15 minutes. You can, you can add one hour, you can add uh, five days, you can whatever, whatever, whatever you want, but for 15 minutes, this IP address cannot uh, input anything, cannot try to reconnect and then can try again uh, okay and here it's the five attempts within a period of five minutes this is a fine time so here you have to you have to tune it the way you want for me i put it this way it looks uh, it looks okay for me then uh, basically that's it Okay, you have plenty of other configuration, for example, in case, in case of uh, issues, um, in case of um, to notification, you want to, be, to get notification on your email that someone is trying to access or to massively access your, 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 your server, try to hack your server, then you can receive uh, that on your email to receive some alert in order to manually see what's happening actually, what's going on on your server. And basically, that's it that's it there are plenty of other things for me uh, the most important one is a ssh server but you have plenty of other par um, settings typically uh, from uh, people try to connect from uh, on your apache server try to connect on your ftp server try to connect on your mail server etc etc that's it you save and you restart huh? to, to restart it's just system ctl you do system ctl restart and fail to ban i will not do it now okay you just type like that enter i will not do it now because i want to show you the the log and i need uh, the server to to keep uh, being running 
uh, to, in order to show you that. So that's it. Now you want to monitor what's happening and then you can go to the, uh, to the log of fail to ban. So fail to ban log it's here. Nano slash var log fail to ban. Yes. So every time there is an action, every time there is a ban, it will be there. Look at that. Amazing. So in case, in case there is a failed attempt, like for example here you see, the system has found a uh, that this IP address tried to connect through SSH and made a mistake. Okay, then it's already counted as found. But found doesn't mean it, it, it bans. So, so it was just the beginning and then at the beginning I tried to tune the, the server. And you can see that at some point it will ban and it will unban. So you can see that for example this IP address here has been banned. Banned banned for uh, 15 minutes or 20 minutes the way the way I configure the server at that at that point of time it was the 20 of September you see it was three days ago I had a massive uh, attack look at look when I activate fail to ban look at how many attempts have been found it's just a lot and coming not coming from just one IP address but coming from multiple IP address coming from Eastern Europe they really try to hack my uh, my server okay <laughs> they tried many, uh, many, many passwords, many uh, user, and everything. Look at that! Found, 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 and then, and then uh, jail. Yeah, I like that. Jail SSH. Added found, and then ban, 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 ban. You see, ban, ban, ban. They ban a lot. But the thing is also because I was uh, implementing the system and uh, I had some trust issue at the beginning, so I, I manually drop. The, the IP address, uh, but some of them have been uh, banned by uh, by um, fail to ban. Now I trust I trust uh, I trust it completely. Look at that. Uh, the thing is, it's banned and it's unbanned when the window of 15 minutes or one hour or the window you decided is uh, is is reached. But I can see the reaction of the of the hacker when they realize that those IP, IP address because they use 10 or 20 IP address but not like uh, 1 million when they realize that those IP address were useless they could not connect anymore they, they, they start to stop hacking and try to reconsider and, and to find another strategy and they didn't they didn't find so far so you can see you can see here it's really amazing really really amazing you can see how many have been banned is just uh, I can uh, I can try to show you yeah so fail to ban ban log and I will put ban here you see how many have been banned it's a lot if you have to do that manually it's a look even 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 today <laughs> even today they try to hack me again look at that I'm, I'm making this video just on the, on the 23rd of September look at that 23rd of September, guys. I'm not joking. <laughs> I thought they have finished uh, with me, but uh, not finished. My goodness. Ban, 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 ban. Amazing. So, um, you can have a look also at some uh, status, how many IP address have been banned, some uh, how many how many IP address unbanned, etc. So, you have this fail to ban client status, so this command. So I just type it here, clear. Okay, so number of jail now, there is one. Maybe uh, some have been banned. Okay, let me see, uh, SSHD, there's this one also. I have the total. Look at that, total banned, 317 address have been banned and that's you have to know that this this status is when um, is when you restart everything is reset to zero okay so because I restarted failed to ban a couple of times then it's only 317 ban since 
the begin since uh, the last time I, I, I restarted the fail to ban process and look at the number of failed attempt 3600 this is so important guys and they know that the the, the login is root r o o t so they just have to find a password right so Keep in mind that you have to have a, a, a password that is long enough with uh, some uh, lowercase, uppercase, number, special character, etc. So, uh, of course, 3000, this is just a joke. They need millions for me to find my password. They need millions of, of, uh, of attempts. So, of course, it will take uh, centuries for them at, at that speed. Uh, if, you, if they can just uh, do 3,000 in just uh, one or two weeks, it's too slow. It's, of course, it's too slow to find. To find. There are other ways, actually, to, to, uh, to, to avoid that. But if they find my password, they will access and destroy completely my, uh, my server. That's for sure. That's 100% sure. But they will never find. Thanks to fail to ban. What other things do I have? Uh, I think th I think that's it. Let me have a look at that. Yeah, yeah, that's it, guys. So I, I find this uh, this tool absolutely amazing. Um, that's it. If you uh, if you have some question and if you have some uh, remark, if you have uh, anything, if you want some help to configure that, don't hesitate. Uh, I will uh, will add my contact and my uh, my uh, my website, one of my website, in the description of the video. I wish you a very happy day. Bye bye.